Hey guys, what's good? I'm AJ Hetzel and I'm going over a GIMP introduction including painting, layers, cropping, and exporting. Now this will also work if you need a basic stick man ready to use in Blender. Before we get started, we're going to make a new folder so that when we're exporting things, everything ends up in the same place so that it's easier to find when we move to Blender. So we're going to go File, New Folder, and let's call it Stickman. Now we're ready to open GIMP. We'll start by creating a new project. So we'll go File, New, or you can also use the hotkey, Command N. Now it's going to ask us for our image size. On simple projects, I usually like to go with 1000 by 1000 pixels. Notice here it tells us we're working in pixels. Say you were designing something you wanted to print, you could go inches and change the size to 8.5 by 11, which is the size of standard printer paper. But for today, we're going to work in pixels in 1000 by 1000. Okay. And here we are, our blank layer. Now we're going to need our tools. Go up to the top of your screen in tools toolbox or command B. Then we're going to go command L for our layer palette. Starting off, we're given a background. This eye toggles the layers visibility. This checkered design means that it's transparent or invisible. It shows up as nothing, not even white. If I write on our background, it's the same as me writing on a piece of paper. If I get rid of the piece of paper, I get rid of the whole thing. Now to get rid of this, I could use the eraser or shift E, but a much faster way is to go edit, undo, or command Z. And just so you know, redo is command Y, undo. Down here we can add a new layer and it gives us the auto setting of transparent. We're going to click OK. Now there is a transparent layer on top of our background, which means if I write on it, what I've created is separate from our other layer so I can toggle them separately. Now M lets you move things. It's also this button right here with the arrows. If I put my cursor over my drawing, I can click and drag what I've drawn over my background or any layer it's on top of. Just remember to watch what you click because you can also drag the background, which might mess with your plans. Undo, undo, undo. You know what, that's a lot of undos. I'm just gonna delete the layer. So in the bottom right hand corner, we can click this, which is delete layer. And just a reminder that anything can be undone or redone. Here I'm ready to start my stick man. I'm going to go over to new layer, transparent, OK. And I'll be using my circle maker or hotkey E. Click and drag. Now if I want to move where I've drawn this circle, I can move my cursor inside the circle and drag it where I want to move it. I can also grab the corner of the circle to adjust the circle I'm working with, or if you want to be more precise, use the vertical adjuster and the horizontal adjuster. This has given me an outline of the circle I would like. Now I'm going to have to paint it black. The bucket fill tool is in our toolbar, or shift B. Command A clears everything that's selected. Now remember this head is on a layer of its own. You can use M to drag it because we aren't using anything else of this layer that the head is on. I like to stay organized and it's best to do it right from the start. So I'm going to go over to my layer that has my head. I'm going to control click on the layer and I'm going to go to edit layer attributes. In layer attributes, I'm going to name this layer head. And you can see it shows up right here. 
Now I'm going to make a body layer. So new layer. And here I can title the layer right when I'm creating it. So I'm going to type in body. Okay. For the body, I'm going to use the rectangle tool or R. Click and drag to start my rectangle. And again, just like the circle, I can put my cursor in the middle and drag it if I want to move where I have the rectangle. Or once it's positioned, I can use the corners and horizontal and vertical adjusters on the sides. When you're ready, shift B for bucket, click command A to deselect and M to drag if you'd like to adjust. Now for the right arm, we're going to go new layer, title it right arm. E for my circle creator or you could use a rectangle if you'd prefer one. Click and drag. Shift B for bucket fill. Command A to deselect and M to move. Now for the right leg. New layer, right leg, okay. E for my circle tool, click and drag. Shift B for bucket fill and Command A to deselect. Now, you could create two more layers and draw out your left arm and your left leg. However, if you'd rather a shortcut, you could copy your right arm and left arm and flip them into your left arm and left leg. So I'm gonna click on my right arm layer and go layer, duplicate layer. Another way to do this would be to control click the layer and go down to duplicate or shift command D. But now you'll see I have an extra copy so I'll delete layer and I'll use this as my left arm. So I'm going to control click edit layer attributes, left arm. And now we still can't see it and that's because I haven't flipped it yet. So I'm going to go layer transform, flip horizontally. And now we can see our left arm. I'm going to click M to move and drag to adjust. Now we're going to do the same thing for the left leg. I'm going to click on my right leg, shift command D to duplicate, control click, edit attributes. I'm going to name this left leg, now layer, transform, flip horizontally, M to move, now to export. If you've been following along with this, wait to copy these next few steps. If you just wanted this image that we created, go to file, export, now make sure we're exporting into the folder that we created. So it was on my desktop. I'm going to click desktop. I'm going to find Stickman and export. Here's our image ready to be printed or added to anything you wanted it for. But if you wanted to animate something with moving parts, you have to export each part separately. Let's start by toggling our background and everything except for the head. Now this head is floating in the middle of a 1000 by 1000 pixel wide box. When we're animating this in Blender, we want to only be working with our drawn parts. So we're going to want to crop each part, export them, undo, then crop another part. Our crop tool is shift C or this tool here on our toolbar. Our crop tool has the same controls as our rectangle tool and our circle tool. You click and drag. Now it's important to know 
that if you click the middle of this box, it'll crop what you have here, undo. If you want to move it, you have to make sure that you hold down your click as you're dragging, or if you click on accident, hold down for a couple of seconds before you release so it doesn't crop. So I'm going to drag, adjust my corners and sides, and when I'm ready, click the center. Now we're ready to export. So we're going to go File, Export As, and title this Head. You can see we're in the right place because it has your computer, your desktop, and the folder we're dropping things into. Also, here's our stick man that we just exported. With that done, we're ready to undo. Remember, if you cropped more than once, say you cropped it in a bigger box, then cropped it smaller, you might have to undo a few times to get you back to this full picture with all of our different parts. Toggle the head, and next we're going to do the body. Shift C from my crop tool, click and drag, click to crop. Now to export, I'm going to use the hotkey, command, shift, E, body, and export. Undo, right arm, click, command, shift, E, right arm, Perfect. Now you can see that instead of our stick man, we have all of our parts cut out and ready to import into Blender. In the next video, we'll be uploading our images into Blender and animating them the easy way, without armatures. Armatures are going to get its own separate video. Thanks for watching, guys.